Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. Today we're taking an early look at an upcoming mod release. This is the New Holland TR Pack by Tired Iron Modding. He was kind enough to send over a early release of this to me so that I could take a look at it and put together this video for you. Make sure to head over to Tired Iron Modding's Facebook page, the link is in the description below to follow along for updates and uh, hopefully a uh, release in the not too distant future. Let's go ahead and jump into the store here and take a look at all of the options that are coming out with this new Holland TR pack. There are four variations of the combine, starting with the TR85 here, all the way up through to the TR96. And so you've got a couple of models for the older style here, the 85 and the 95, and then the newer style with the 86 and the 96. Starting with the TR85 here, you can see a lot of attention has been paid to the details on this model. It looks really nice. And uh, we've got a few features here. Uh, to start with, if we come back to the rear of the combine here, you can see we've got the straw spreaders on here by default. You've also got the chopper option back here. And then for wheel options, we start with the default 800 singles here up in the front, but we also have the 580 duels. If we look at this head on, you'll be able to see them a little better. We have the 800 singles with the diamond tires in the back, which are looking snazzy. We've got the 580 duels with the diamonds in the back. And we've also got the 800 singles with a tri-rib tire in the back here, which is really cool. Uh, the 580s with the tri-rib and back to the beginning. And so this is cool. We've got a bunch of different uh, tire options, which is always nice to see. And then for the pipe, we've got a short pipe and then a standard length pipe. Moving up to the TR95 here, the options are widely the same. You've got uh, very similar tire options here as you did on the TR85. However, if we jump up now to the TR86, you can see that it's got a more modern uh, lighting setup on the cab. We'll take a look at the interiors uh, after, but they are also uh, been updated. And then you can also see here, we now have grain tank extensions as we get into the more modern version. And so you've got the default factory extensions here, the square box, but then we've also got the mower extensions that you can add on here for some additional capacity and uh, just a different visual look here, which is really cool. We've also got our pipe options here and then the tire options exist as well to be able to switch between uh, a few different setups here. You do also pick up the 580 duels as well as the 650 duels here at the uh, more modern level, but we do lose the uh, tri-rib tires in the back as that's just not something that you see in the more modern versions. So it's cool to see these uh, different options here and available. And then also you lose the rear configuration for the uh, choppers as that does not appear to be something that was available in these newer versions. And then similarly, if we jump into the TR-96, um, the options here are very similar. You've got the grain tank extensions and the uh, tire options just like the 86. Jumping over to the headers, we have two corn headers that have been included with this pack. We've got a six row header here, and the headers have an option to enable or disable the flashers on the uh, corn headers here. And so you've got a six row and an eight row version of these corn headers available. And then if we jump over to our cutters, we've got three options available ranging from 20 to 25 to 30 foot headers. And so if we just jump in here and look at one of these, all of these have the same option where you're able to have either the paddle reel here, or you can switch this over and have fingers. And so that's a really cool um, different feature. You don't see a lot of these paddle style headers uh, floating around these days. So really cool to see these options and uh, some nice attention to detail here on this with the uh, chains and such on the sides. So I'm really excited to get these out in the field and kind of take a look at them. So I've got two of these combines here set up just to take a look at. We've got the TR95, which is the older model, but uh, also the slightly bigger of the uh, combines. And so if we jump into it here and go inside the cab for a moment here, you can see we've got a lot of attention to detail in the cab. Uh, we've got uh, different dials and levers and such we've got our radios and our vents some good textures on the ceiling and so this is kind of cool nice attention to detail here 
If I turn on my lights, you can see that uh, the panels light up, the gauges light up. And so you've got some interior dash lighting in here, which is really kind of cool. And if we just go back outside in the cab, you can see we've got, uh, you know, these nice older style lights that light up. I really like it. It looks pretty good. We've got a light on the end of the uh, grain auger here, too. If we jump over here now into the TR86, this is the uh, more modern style interior. And so you can see that uh, things have kind of been moved around uh, a little bit. If we turn on our lights again, we've got different lights here. If I turn on the harvester, you can see that the uh, panel over here, the numbers do change a bit here. I like the textures on the uh, armrest and such, so those things are a nice touch. Uh, I think the only thing that I have found just a little bit odd is the camera seems to be moved fairly far forward. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like that or not, we're going to actually have to get this out in the field and try it out. This might actually be better. Sometimes uh, the cameras are set way too far back in the uh, harvester. We'll, we'll see what our visibility looks like once we get this attached to a header and get it out in the field. If we walk around here uh, on these two, you can see that we've got the uh, different options here for the uh, chopper back versus the spreader back. So you can see that there's a, a fair amount of detail here. And uh, as we get out in the field, uh, we'll notice that there's just uh, a lot of bits and pieces that are going to move here as we're running these combines. So uh, lots of attention to detail on these mods. They're looking really sharp. I've gone ahead and set up a TR-85 here. So this is the smallest and oldest of the uh, variants that are available in this pack. And I went ahead and put the tri-rib tires on here. So I just wanted to show that off, uh, give you a give you guys a chance to see all the options in action here. And then uh, we've got this header here with the paddle bar on it. So I really like the look of this header. Um, can't wait to get this out in the field. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, fire this thing up and turn it on here. And as you can see, all the little bits and pieces are moving here. Uh, you've got your rotor spinning down there. Things are shaking, things are turn in I don't know I just like this a lot it looks really sharp and then actually if I hop out here it's easier to see even the chain is moving around on this uh, um, side thing both chains the one on the inside and the outside so these are just the little attention to detail that you know maybe when you're playing you might not even notice at a glance but it's the small things that really make the mods kind of come alive and so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start harvesting here and so if I jump into our combine here, I think that, uh, like I mentioned before, my only real criticism here uh, with this mod would be maybe to bump the camera back just a smidge as it feels like I'm just so far forward. But other than that, I mean, this is, uh, this is a really nice looking mod. I'm really liking this a lot. Everything's looking pretty good. Header seems to be working great. Um, if you guys recall, this is the uh, Westby map. This is actually the save from my Westby series that I was doing uh, not too long ago. I thought this would be an appropriate map to test this out on, given that uh, um, Tired Iron Modding also worked on uh, this map. And so this is uh, working really good on these hills. You'll recall that I had quite a bit of struggles with the uh, John Deere Harvester that I was using at the time on uh, some of these hills. So. This would be a perfect piece of equipment for a farm like this. I'm really, really digging these uh, smaller, older mods uh, that uh, Tired Iron Modding has been working on. Uh, it makes me feel like I need to start up another uh, older machinery style gameplay uh, series here soon. So uh, maybe we'll have to do that with uh, cool mods like this coming out again. So you can also see in the grain tank here, uh, fill planes are looking pretty snazzy. Um, no complaints there. Uh, we are going to fill this up real quick and take a look at what it looks like full. But uh, yeah, no, I've, uh, I'm thoroughly impressed with this mod so far. Haven't run into any errors or seen any real major issues with it um, in the use that we've done so far. So just taking another quick look at this harvester with the grain tank as it starts to fill up. Uh, it's just looking really good. A lot of times modders don't pay very close attention to fill planes and things like that. And uh, this one's filling up nicely. It looks good. We'll uh, check back in on it when it's full here. Uh, we are going to let a worker run on this as well. 
and uh, looks like no issues with workers either. Let's uh, let's go take a look at the corn header. All right, so we are over here in the TR-96. So this is the upper end of this uh, mod pack here, the most modern version of it. And I went ahead and tossed the uh, diamond tires on this uh, one just to take a look at those. They look pretty cool. And we've also got the Mauer grain extension on this uh, particular version. And so you can see when it's all folded up, the mower actually folds down, which is nice. It looks kind of cool all flat like that. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Uh, we've got the header on here. I did put the flashers on, so everything's uh, looking nice and shiny here with this. So let's go ahead and see what this thing's going to do for uh, corn harvest. Uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, take a headland off here because we are going to also uh, try the worker out with this particular combine once we get things going. And so uh, with the fence here, we need a little bit of room to turn around. Now I'm going to get started down the headland here, and then we'll jump in and take a look in cab. We've got uh, a nice interior on uh, this one as well. We've got all the different options here, uh, buttons, etc. If I turn the lights on, just like the other one, everything lights up, looks nice and sharp. So uh, definitely liking uh, these combines, but uh, the cam the interior camera is probably my only complaint. I don't do a lot of uh, in cab driving in farm sim, um, and so that's uh, not necessarily going to be a drawback for me. Uh, but I will say with this header on here, I mean I can see all the rows of the header, which a lot of times in different uh, mods that's a struggle. Um, this is the eight row version of the header, so this is the larger of the two headers. Uh, and so really you're going to be able to see everything you need to see with the header. If I turn the lights on here, um, that's quite the uh, reflection off of the yellow there on the header. So everything's looking pretty good with this uh, corn header. It seems to work pretty well. I'm trying to find a good angle here to see the uh, uh, corn material moving through the header actually. And so everything seems to be looking good and working here. Uh, and just like the other one, the uh, grain tank seems to be filling up pretty nicely here. And so I'll be interested to see what the fill plane looks like on uh, this particular combine as we start to fill up the mower extensions here. We take a look inside here. We've got a nice uh, fill plane and the corn filling up through the windows too. So looking good. So you can see here as uh, the grain tank starts to fill up, the fill plane actually starts to come up and over the uh, edges of the slant and fill up in the uh, mower extender hopper here, which is really kind of cool um, to see it uh, actually filling up and, you know, kind of feels like it's moving around a little bit. I mean, I know uh, farm sim fill planes are a little odd sometimes, but uh, this is a cool effect. It's able to take advantage of the extensions a bit and uh, we've come across looking fairly realistic here. So I'm really curious to see what happens as we get to 100% full here. Um, it's really pushing up onto the edge of the uh, uh, grain tank there. So that's kind of cool looking, uh, a little bit stressful, you know, just in the uh, whole, I don't want my uh, corn to fall out of the hopper perspective, but uh, it's looking nice. And there we go. We are full, and uh, it just kind of fills up uh, in the different areas there, so it looks, uh, you know, fairly natural. Um, it's heaped up just a smidge here above the hopper, which is um, pretty cool. I mean, that's, uh, that's how I'd expect this to look as it's uh, completely full. We're, you know, on these hills, we're probably in danger of some cab corn here. So let's take a quick look at the other combine here without the extenders now that it's full uh it looks like it uh, heaps up really nicely here i really like how that looks looking good and we couldn't leave without uh actually checking out that the uh unload works as well pipe looking really nice here uh it's got a pretty decent unload speed especially for an older combine um i like it it's working good it looks good no weird visual issues or anything like that that you see sometimes on certain mods. So, I mean, I've got to say, hats off to Tired Iron Modding for putting together just a 
stealther mod here. That is uh, both of the versions of this uh, particular combine pack, and uh, I think we've covered all the options here. So hopefully you've enjoyed this early look. Well, like I said at the beginning, make sure to head over and check out Tired Iron Modding on Facebook and follow along there for any information about when these are going to release. I think he's getting close. Uh, and so um, a huge shout out and thank you to Tired Iron Modding for letting me have a uh, early look at this and share this with uh, all of you. That's all for today. Kederk, out.